back to my channel uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about this laptop uh, it wasn't turning on and the cap button kept blinking and I know there is like a code that you can look up online uh, but the thing that stood out uh, when it wasn't like I would try to turn it on but the screen would remain black what uh, stood up for me is that the fan was blowing really hard and making very loud noises and I cleaned the fan I used rubbing alcohol to clean the fan as much as I could but I noticed that it's still struggling so what I did there was a, a, a screwdriver that I took out it was a small one so I took this one out the screwdriver I don't know if it can focus took this one out and then when I took the fan out it was it had a lot of just dust in there as you can tell so I pulled out the dust and then it I'm still in the process of taking out the dust so after I take this off and clean it uh, I'm gonna tr turn it on and let's see if it works so, and I already took some some of it off. You can, as you can tell, it has a lot of dust. This is just it's just blocking the fan. So I'm gonna clean it up and then try to turn the screen back on. So it finally turned back on, but it wasn't the fan that was the issue. Even though I got a lot of dust. Like look at this, I got a lot of dust. The fan wasn't the issue, the issue was actually the battery wasn't connected right. So I took the battery out. I discharged the system by pressing the uh, power button. And I'm gonna show you in a minute uh, what I did when I took the battery out. I just took the battery out and I connected it. And that made the screen come back on. And another thing to that I want to say is that when it wasn't working, the cab button here was blinking uh, three times, I believe, rapidly, and then uh, it doesn't blink for a little bit, and then blinks twice again. And it was making a loud noise also yesterday. It was making a loud, loud noise, peeping noise. So. I'm going to show you in a minute what I did, how I took the battery out and that fixed the problem. So see you in a little bit. So here is what fixed it. Uh, this battery right here, I, know if, I don't know if you can see, it's a lithium ion battery and this part right here was not connected right. So when I took the screwdrivers, there is three screwdrivers that kept it in place. When I took this out and put it back on I snap this back in there so it, the area that the battery wasn't connected right so this was uh, the problem that's why the computer wasn't turning on uh, because I did everything I cleaned the fan like I said I cleaned the dust I even removed the screw from the fan here and I cleaned it that didn't do the trick and it might work for you, I don't know. But uh, another thing is I took the RAM out. I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and that didn't work uh, as well. So I took this RAM here out. I cleaned the connectors with rubbing alcohol uh, based on another video that I saw. And I'm gonna leave it in the link, the other video that talks about this. Uh, this did not work. So finally what I did is that I took the battery out to discharge the computer because that was one of the tips that I found online. And when I took the battery out and discharged it uh, by pressing the power button, when I put it back on, I reconnected the battery. Um, and maybe just taking the battery out and discharging the computer was the fix. I'm not really sure if it's the connection here was the issue or just taking the battery out and 
discharging the system and then putting the battery back on my hunch is that the battery connection wasn't good uh, so hopefully this helps you out uh, if you have any comments if you have any tips please leave them in the comment section and hope this helps you if you have any questions please ask uh, and see you guys in the next video bye